Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to integrate e to the power 2x sine 3x plus 1 with respect to x. In this video, we are going to apply the tabular method or more commonly known as the di method. D stands for differentiation, I stands for integration. We are going to split this function into two functions, one exponential, one trigonometric function. Regardless how many times we differentiate them, they will not eventually reach zero. So we can simply put the exponential function under D while the trigonometric function under I. So let's differentiate. We should copy exactly the same since this is exponential function. And don't forget, we should differentiate the power as well. Differentiate 2x, we obtain 2. In the great sine function, we have negative cos and the angle remain. So when we differentiate 3x, we should obtain 3. And we times 3 here. But this is integration, we should reverse. So reverse of times become divide. So next we have 2 e to x again, but we should again differentiate the power. So differentiate, we obtain 2. 2 times 2 equals to 4. And in the grade, we should have negative sine 3x plus 1. Again, we should divide another 3. So 1 over 3 times 1 over 3, so 1 over 9. Since we obtain exactly the same form of functions where we have e to the power 2x under d and sine 3x plus 1 under i, so which means that we can stop here and determine the joint function. So firstly, take e to the power 2x times negative 1 over 3 cos 3x plus 1 and the result we should have negative 1 over 3 e to the power 2x times cos 3x plus 1. Next we have 2 times e 2x times negative 1 over 9 sine 3x plus 1 and the result is negative 2 over 9 e to the power 2x sine 3x plus 1. And don't forget that under the di method, the sign should be alternately plus minus plus, which means that positive times negative, we have negative. Negative times negative, we should have positive instead of negative. And we can now write this is equal to negative 1 over 3 e to the power 2x cos with the anchor 3x plus 1 and we plus 2 over 9 e to the power 2x sine 3x plus 1. And don't forget, none of the functions in the last row is equal to 0, which means that we have integral remain. Plus, minus, minus. So we have negative integrate 4 times 1 over 9. So 4 over 9, and we times e to the power 2x sine. 3x plus 1. Let's rewrite the equation, bring all the integral to the left. So we should have integrate e to the power 2x sine 3x plus 1 with respect to x minus move over become plus integrate 4 over 9 e to the power 2x sine 3x plus 1 with respect to x and this is equal to the remaining terms 1 over 3 with negative e to the 2x cos 3x plus 1 plus 2 over 9 e to the 2x sine 3x plus 1. We don't have to add the constant c at this moment since the integration isn't complete. What we have to do next is just to simplify both sides. So we have 1 plus 4 over 9, which is 13 over 9. And we integrate e to the power 2x sine 3x 
plus 1 with respect to x. And for the right hand side, we can factorize the common term, which is e to the power 2x. And we check that we have 1 over 9 on the left. So I'm going to factorize 1 over 9 for the right as well. So if we take out 1 over 9, so negative 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 9, we should obtain negative 3. And the remaining term cos 3x plus 1. And for the second term, we have plus 2 sine 3x plus 1. And we can now divide both sides by 13 over 9 or equivalently with times 9 over 13. So which means that we have integrate e to the power 2x sine 3x plus 1 with respect to x is equal to 1 over 9 times 9 over 13, which is 1 over 13. And we times e to the power 2x times minus 3 cos 3x plus 1 plus 2 sine 3x plus 1. And don't forget to add the constant c since the integration is complete. And hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.